Good morning, everybody. Uh, been busy. Thought I'd show you a couple of the things that we've got accomplished here in the last few days. We have tomatoes. I'm happy. Let me switch the camera around and I'll show you what we got going on. We have all of the buckets planted. All 630 tomatoes are planted in here. Looking good. We got all of the old roots out of the cucumber buckets and the pepper buckets. I have to clean out the barrel and get water and fertilizer mixed and work on making sure all the emitters drip on the peppers. And we've got peppers to go in and I have to do the or turn the irrigation on on the cucumbers so I can check all the emitters on it and make sure everything's working and then I can get the cucumbers planted because yeah, we're early. We're going to plant cucumbers. First of March. Who doesn't want to plant cucumbers first of March? But the tomatoes are looking really good. I wish we'd have had them in just a hair earlier. But weather-wise and stupid heater and working on the heating or the computer put us back that extra two weeks. But now I feel better. It's all working. Though All the heaters are working. The fan I'm gonna have to have the fans turn on tomorrow or today uh, yesterday it was 102.3 degrees in here probably a little excessive uh, so but it's still turning getting cold at night so we don't really want to take the plastic off the fans because we've got this polycarb this one's on the inside the other ones on the outside uh, but this one actually may be the one I take down because it's supposed to be 50 mile an hour winds today so I'm gonna take this one down and turn the fan so it'll run and that way we can pull part of the heat out of here I hate to open everything up too much because it is still gonna get down in the 30s at nights for a little bit but if it's getting that hot I got to do something and keep stuff from dying in here all right, I'll get this shit up and then I'll show you what else I've got got done. I had our little cub out yesterday and actually worked it. Uh, doesn't take much because it hasn't got much for a motor. Uh, the zero turn actually has more power than that thing. Uh, <laughs> which is weird because I want to say that big motor's rated at like 12 horsepower. And this is a big Kawasaki. Does it say... I want to say this is like a 20 horse motor and it's smaller. I guess I don't see where it says it. I thought it said it right there. Uh, there's the serial, but I don't see what it actually says. I know dad set has it on the paperwork on it. I want to say that's a 20 horse motor or 20 plus horse motor. And that one's 12. <laughs> Makes you feel good. But I had this out and I hooked it up to our harrow. And I'll show you what we got done in the garden. To bear with me with the wind noise because it's windy. But we've got garlic greening up. Which makes me feel good. And we got our post set for our hoop that's going to go here. I've got them drove in part way and then it froze and I never got back to them. Got all of our rafters out. But out here in the plowed ground, I run the harrow up and down it a little bit. And sure, smooth that up. You can see the bumpy out there. I never got to it. But I think I'm going to put our plastic, lay it down in here. Um, there will be a path that comes through here, but out here a little ways. We're going to till it because we got to have a really smooth seed bed. No chunky nothing. Uh, that way we can lay our plastic with our plastic layer. But just look how nice and smooth that looks compared. This spot here was done three times. You can kind of see that over there that's a little bit rougher. I did that at an angle. And actually I went back and forth. I went at that angle. And then I went back and forth just here at this end. 
because about halfway just the other side of the greenhouse is where I put my path through the garden because that's about halfway and then that way I'm going to put all my plastic in through here so I wanted to make sure this spot looked really good I wasn't so worried about none of the rest of that as of right now um, as soon as it's fit I did work on I mowed all of the weeds where we had our tomatoes and stuff and broccoli and cabbage and beans and all that stuff out last year i mowed all the tall grass down i got all this or i got all the string from our trellising and our drip tapes all up uh and then i gotta pull all them steel posts and then if it's when it gets fit we're gonna plow the rest of that um but it is not there yet because it was muddy with the lawnmower yesterday uh, but with getting all that grass and stuff ground up it should dry up quicker and especially with the wind today it should work but you can kind of see down at that end where it kind of left little lines where I went with the way I plowed but then when I come across it it filled it in and then I run back and forth so I, I made sure I wanted this as smooth as I could get it with what we had without getting doing heavy tillage to uh, because it's probably still a little bit damp yeah it's it's still a little bit wet it don't have to go down very deep but it just took the high spots off and filled in the low spots with the plow or the harrow uh, I do have my bales out I got to build some side pieces to hold the bales when they start to decompose I did get fertilizer dumped on them but I got to get a hose out to uh, to soak them in but I've got that so I'm conditioning the bales getting them ready they're looking good and they're starting to fall apart so I got to get my sides built but it had been freezing and cold and I couldn't drive anything into the ground um, I did get the asparagus mowed off and the rhubarb and I got a couple little trees here and there I got to cut out the rhubarb is starting to come up which is probably a little bit early and that wind is sure blowing we'll see if we can't find a new I tried to burn it first and and I got the lawnmower out. Oh, right here. Oh, I got it right here. About stepped on it. We've got got it coming up right here pretty good. Uh, we've got quite the bed. Uh, I've got a few sticks I got to get cut out. Uh, there was a row of asparagus. And then the rest of this is rhubarb. And then I have two rows of asparagus. I'm not sure what we're going to fill in this area with. But now that with the greenhouse here, I think we're going to try to connect at least that row of asparagus and then maybe fill in some more rhubarb we do sell quite a bit of rhubarb at our markets um, looking really good and then i've got a bunch of stuff done in here and i got the radio on so i we'll have to shut it off as we walk in the door cheese doodle day it's on this uh, day power. okay got my radio shut off and all of the kohlrabi underneath is looking really good. All of everything up here is looking really good. I'm going to assume my pink baby's breath isn't going to grow. The pumpkins on a sticks isn't going to come up. But I do got a lot of other stuff coming up. Um, I do have some lavender, which I'm not sure what it looks like. Uh, this is all herbs. Um, that's all looking good. My one mixed flower set's looking good. I have some lettuce that got way too hot yesterday. I got a bunch of this stuff sitting out that I need to repot. Um, that's still all full of all kinds of stuff. Um, the little broccolis are looking good. They're easier to see over here. And these karabis were put in a little bit later. They're not quite as nice. But that is still heated and just yesterday is when I opened up the plastic because it got too hot in here. We needed, definitely needed ventilation in here yesterday. Um, I bought one of these little miracle Grow waterers where you put the fertilizer in the bottom and then put the water in and it squirts it, mixes it. I don't know if it's going to work, but... Ooh, I got a tulip blooming or getting ready to bloom. They're starting to get the tops on them. They're looking really good. Look at all them, with all that heat in here yesterday. Look at how well them suckers are all looking. They're all, I gotta get my mess cleaned up, but don't, don't look at right there. But 
But if you look, all that stuff's coming up. I didn't know how it was going to do, and actually it's looking nice enough. I'm going to do this again. I've also heard people take the onion sets and do more or less the same thing. Uh, put them in the baskets and then put them in close. And then you can pull, grow green onions like this. Uh, definitely thinking about it for late season stuff next or this year. Because um, I've got a pile of them black boxes. If anybody's local and needs some, I'd sell them reasonable. Uh, but yeah, we've got tons of them looking really good looking happy my couple volunteer onions or probably I could pick them I've got the two or actually there's three here one and two down there they're looking really good but I got to get some of this other stuff moved but I need somebody to help me move these tables over because as of right now we're just gonna fill this dang thing uh, anything and everything we can grow that'll grow in here this thing's going to be full here shortly because I want stuff ready to sell when our markets start in May. Um, part of this stuff is probably a hair early, uh, but I don't care. We're planting. Because uh, it's in here. I can take that plastic down and heat this whole thing. And it's getting nice enough. It's not much of an issue. We're going to really start hammering stuff out. Uh then, yeah, that's what I've got going on. Been super busy. Uh, been running kids. Kids' activities are busy this time of year. Uh, we're starting farmer's market meetings. Uh, that way we know what markets we're going to. But hopefully we'll have call Robbie soon. I love them. Uh, oh, got to always show Nora's beans. They're looking really good. And I think when we take the plastic down, I'm going to fill this in with karabi or something. We're going to put stuff in it. But yeah, these are looking really tall. You can tell they're growing nice. Um, but the stuff to the very back underneath here, uh, I don't have to water quite as often because the condensation from the plastic comes down and keeps the outside foot, two foot wet. So I just mainly had to do the middles or this outside edge. And... It looks good. They're looking really nice. Um, my family's concerned on picking them, but we could reach in to plant them, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but I think they're looking really good. I did water them with the fertilizer once. I am starting to get a few weeds in the middle. I was thinking I should mulch it with something, but then I didn't want to have to worry about dragging stuff in and out. And I had a mouse or mouse or bigger in here the other day tunneling but I think I've got that under control because we had that straw right outside the door and I'm pretty sure that's where it come from but yeah these are looking really super awesome peppers uh, that's purple cone flowers and these are all flowers starting to look really nice uh, this is all herbs I think I said that but there you go just kind of a quick We've been busy getting stuff done. Um, I'd worked out in the orchard a couple days cleaning stuff up. Uh, now that it's getting nice, we're getting more and more of that stuff done. Now that the big greenhouse is pretty well self-sufficient for a little bit, I can work on some more of this stuff again. Um, but that's what I've got going on. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Oh! Reminder, the, we have that memorial camp for Jeremiah in like two weeks and we've been working really hard trying to get some of that stuff lined up and figured out. Um, send me an email or message me on Facebook or whatever. My Facebook is Willie Brahms. My email is Steve Brahms at Gmail. It should be in my information. Uh, and we do have some shirts coming. Uh, we've been working on getting some of the Memorial Camp t-shirts made. Uh, my wife designed them and we're working on that. But we trying to get other stuff done first. So hopefully here this weekend, maybe first of next week, we'll have at least one done. So I can do a video on it and you guys can order one if you want. And uh, I do have a PayPal and I'll make sure on that link I'll put it in there. And we'll get them shipped out. But... Or hold them for you if you want to come to the camp or whatever. But there'll be another video on that. That's just kind of a 
rem reminder but we're gonna have lettuce to cut here shortly this is just a mixed blend leaf lettuce but doesn't that just look really good uh, and this is a mixed flowers look at all them things I'm gonna have to take them out and split it up I think I got a little thick but it was like two-year-old seeds so I didn't want to uh, take too much time if it wasn't gonna grow and it looks like every one of them suckers come up so you never know on some of this old seed sometimes it's fun to play with and and see what you can do but then big to cherry tomatoes over there I got to get them potted up in bigger pots the brock or the eggplants got to go in bigger pots all them peppers got to go in bigger pots uh, all of the herbs basil and dill um, I just so I have some lawn show under there I got to get put up um, I got more tomatoes coming that are just all but ready to be transplanted all the onions are looking really good um, just tons of stuff tons of stuff keeps me busy uh, sometimes stresses me out but oh well we all have that with our job sometimes trying to make sure you get everything in order I got to get some of these things moved and transplanted so I can reuse the pots to or the trays to get more stuff put in for outside stuff. Um, I'm going to need another tray each of broccoli and cabbage and more eggplant and I don't know what else. Kohlrabi. Did I say kohlrabi? I don't know. I'm rambling. Thanks guys for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Always ask them. I try to answer them as quick as I can, but I, it's never instant. Uh, just busy enough. Then uh, we've got... Um, give a thumbs up and like and subscribe and hit the net bell for notifications. And I'm going to try to start doing a better job of being more regular on videos, but... Sometimes I get busy and forget to grab the phone. Like yesterday when I was harrowing, I should have did a video on it, but it was just one of them things that the weather was right, it was fit, it was just go. <laughs> uh, I forget about grabbing my phone out, but there you guys go. Talk to you later. Have a nice one.